The intelligent use of groups in your contact database can really make things easier for you. But the trouble is that contact apps have always made it too difficult for you to organize your contact cards into groups. Well, that's not true with CardHop. I'm going to go ahead and open the application up here in my menu bar. And I'm going to disclose my groups by hitting this button right here. And you can see I've got two groups in here. Area 51 Limited is a company group. And then I have a friends group as well. And you can see there's nobody in my friends group right now. So I need to take care of that. The first way you can do it is by dragging with your mouse. So I'm going to take this Angus card, drag it over to friends and leave it there. And now you'll see that he shows up in my friends group. But you can also do it with the text parser. So let's say Gunther Chang, in addition to being a coworker, is a friend. So I'm going to go up to the parser and type Gunther. And you can see there he is. Then I'll hit a space and hit the pound sign. And I can either use the arrow keys or the mouse to select between the two or type in the full name if I have a lot. And when I hit enter, now Gunther has been added to my friends. And you can see if I select friends, there's Gunther as well. So you can add contacts to groups with card hop with either the keyboard or the mouse. Now don't underestimate just how efficient managing contacts into groups by keyboard can be. I don't have card hop open right now, so I'm going to go ahead and open it with control option D. And I'll type in Nigel, and let's say that he's such a great guy at work that now I consider him a friend. So I'll hit spacebar, pound, F for friends, and enter, and now I've made him a friend. If I go and look at my friends list, you can see he's been added to it. And finally, with respect to group management in card hop, they've got this great group view feature at the bottom of the screen. Right now it's showing friends, but if I click on it, I can say just show me area 51, or show me all iCloud or even all contacts. So you can easily set the context of what cards you're seeing in CardHop.